these games are almost as bad as the way they treated Hideo Kojima. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 5 worst Konami games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the worst games Konami has ever released. Keep in mind that we are looking at games developed and published by Konami. Full responsibility here. Number 5, Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Board Traveler. Most of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games are actually alright. That is, if you already know the rules of the card game. Destiny Board Traveler is a different story though, as it manages to throw everything we know about Yu-Gi-Oh! out the window and create a strange Mario Party hybrid. Players move around a tiny square board, dueling each other, which is determined by the roll of a dice. The entire game is based around luck, and it just ends up being a blend of frustration and boredom. After this, we figured it was time to d -d 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 do something more fun. It's my turn. Number four, Metal Gear Survive. How can you even call this a Metal Gear game? Of all the directions that Konami could have taken the franchise, they went with a cooperative zombie survival game. Sorry, did I say survival game? I meant babysitting, since your character is in constant need of food, water, and oxygen. Whoops, he crouched too long, gotta take a break. Oh, and uh, tell me what sort of game charges $10 for an extra save game slot? Konami had a chance to show that they didn't need Mr. Kojima to make a Metal Gear game, and they failed in every way. Number 3, The Grinch. In retrospect, The Grinch had some potential to be an okay game. It was a simple 3D platformer where The Grinch can commit pranks and misdemeanors throughout Whoville and its neighboring locations. Gotta love the Dr. Seuss expanded universe, eh? Anyway, if only all of this wasn't as horrendous as Mr. Grinch himself. The graphics are, well, very bad, you can see them, right? And most of that is due to the awkward animation and frequent clipping. The world of Whoville may as well be an empty hole given how lifeless it feels too. Where is everybody and why is it so bland? This was enough to make gamers want a sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich and the seasick crocodile. That's a reference to the song. Number 2, Castlevania, Judgment. This was probably the lowest we'd ever seen in the Castlevania series. Well, until Castlevania Survive comes out, that is. We're not even complaining that this is a fighting game, although, you know, Castlevania in a fighting game, come on, that's weird. But ill-fitting genre aside, it's the shoddy camera and awful controls that keep people from enjoying it. The worst part about Judgment, however, is, do you recognize any of these characters? They look nothing like the past incarnations. Why is Simon Belmont covered in tight leather and belts? Judgment may have talked the talk, but it failed to walk the walk. This is another world where the impossible is possible, but there are trials to endure. Number one, Frogger, the Great Quest. Go on and kiss him, child. Okay, fairy frog mother. Whoa! Konami, you know what made Frogger so great? It was a simple arcade game back when simple arcade games were okay. But it was challenging, it was easy to play, and you can easily lose track of time from trying to beat your score. So what the f*** is this? This is not Frogger, because Frogger is not about enchanted forests, fairies, and magical stones. Konami, if you want to jump on the 3D platformer bandwagon, you could have at least, you know, given the Great Quest a better story. Or, you know, maybe spend some time making the controls easier to use, or <laughs> make Frogger less annoying. Ah! Yikes! Eh, you know what? While this wasn't an option back in 2001, now at least we have Crossy Road, so there's that. Uh, I don't know what to say. Well, I'm off, good buddy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.